For those of you who have mortgage payments and you're paying into escrow, it can often be confusing as to how we deal with those escrow payments into and out of that escrow account within QuickBooks Online. There's my escrow right here. The combination of these two, that goes into our tax and insurance escrow account. So if you don't already have this account, you're going to need to add it. This is going to be an other current asset account. The money is ours. It hasn't been spent yet, but we don't have control over it. It does leave our bank account. Therefore, we must put it into this account here. And here I want three three categories. I want one for interest, cost of goods sold. I want one for principal, which is gonna go against my conventional loan. And I want one for escrow. So I'm paying into my tax and insurance escrow account every single month. Notice that it went up to 1037.12. That's gonna happen. You're gonna get an annual escrow statement and amount will change a little bit. We have to think about our escrow as kind of like a bank account that we don't really have control over, but it goes up and it goes down. And all we have to do is track those statements and make sure that we're making the necessary adjustments.